All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about those recent um, mass shootings that have happened in America and how they could well be, uh, how would you put it, um, groomed or um, uh, handmaidened by uh, the, the various dark powers that run America at the present. So stick around and listen and report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's an awful um, shooting that took place in Oval, Texas uh, recently. And uh, obviously, um, you know, some 20, 18, 20 year old shooter went in and shot up his uh, school. And, um, you know, uh, I think it was like death toll, something like 30 or 40 uh, kids. And I mean, you know, it's really absolutely extraordinary that these horrible things happen. Uh, obviously, um, you know, I mean, these events are used to argue for the limitation of, um, you know, um, gun sales in America obviously no, no one needs to be reminded that America is a gun loving nation and that they have um, the National Rifle Association and they have um, you know the Second Amendment that protects their rights to bear arms so um, you know and no one needs to be reminded of that and um, so you know but like you know these events it, it's clear that you know like one of the reasons I think Americans are at least still to this day relatively free is because they do have the right to bear arms and you can tell that the globalist cabal have been desperate to to disarm the American public. Of course this was the, something that Alex Jones had gone about, they're coming for your guns, they're coming for your guns, which I remember when I first watched um, uh, Alex Jones 20, 25 years ago, I thought they're not coming for their guns, you know what I mean? And then you know I saw various shootings and I thought well you know I don't know, maybe they'll try, and it's now clear that, you know, it's going to be a big midterm issue. Uh, obviously, Biden's um, you know, installed regime after the election fraud uh, that got rid of Donald Trump, um, you know, it's been an um, absolute disaster for the Democratic Party. It's been a disaster for America. So, I mean, I don't even think they, with these upcoming midterm elections, I don't even think they can rig it that much to stop at least some kind of Republican landslide happening in the Senate. So, um, they're going to lose control of the Senate. Um, um, and uh, obviously they're trying to, you know, build up this uh, kind of debate, um, this emotional debate about, um, you know, gun control. And just out of nowhere, the, you know, it, within a month, there was like two mass shooting events. Now, you know, I mean, this is one thing that's always very suspicious to me. It's like, it's almost like these things happen on time. It's like COVID, you know, happened to you know, just happened to appear at the time when they were getting this kind of vaccine technology ready and, and um, you know, like as soon as COVID waned, the Ukrainian war really kicked off. And then when, and then people are bored with Ukraine now, and then these mass shooting, it's like the timing of these things really does appear as if somebody, you know, in Hollywood is like programming the news. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, what's next? Oh, mass shootings are up next. Now, I mean, how could mass shootings be created? Now, I'm not saying that these are events are kind of, you know, um, staged, like uh, Alex Jones has been accused of doing, uh, saying about the Sandy Hook massacre that oh really everyone's still alive or whatever. I mean the guy, the, you know, the guy was come out wouldn't go to that much trouble. They would shoot people. But I mean, first of all, um, you know, there are different ways you can do it. First of all, you could have somebody in the building uh, who is your, um, you know, your shooter and. You could have someone, you could, you could hold that person in place by some agent, have somebody who's a marksman go around and shoot 30 or 40 people, and then they shoot themselves or have, another, have a cop shoot them, and that's the end of that. So that's one way they could do it. And obviously, that situation that happened in Las Vegas, where there was that mass shooter out of the window who was attacking a concert, that was a very suspicious situation. He seemed to carry up to his room like en enough weapons to uh, start World War Three to go and invade Ukraine. Um, and, uh, you know, it, and there's footage of that when you can hear more than one gun firing at the same time time so I'm not sure how he was able to operate um, a couple of um, automatic weapons at the same time so that was a very strange event and the other way to do it is through some kind of um, you know the FBI grooming where you find somebody who has the pretensity to kind of say some 18 year old 16 year old who has the pretensity to kind of do commit this kind of crime and then you provide them with the weapons and maybe an, F an FBI agent undercover or whatever goes in and says oh you know whatever you should do it it's whatever for whatever insane cause or insane belief they have so that's one way they could do it or it could be some kind of mind control operation where they you know they've worked out how to even uh, um, at least um, uh, mind control people to go and commit these events. I have no idea what it is, but it's all deeply suspicious. I think, you know, there are powers that be that really want to um, disarm the American public because after they're able to do that, they want to try and take away the freedom of the American people, which is why I don't buy any of it. I don't buy any of the bullshit in relation to um, gun control. 
Matthew McConaughey uh, has come out recently. Um, he was somebody who, um, you know, appear, his, you know, he's somebody in Hollywood who's come out recently in the new writing. He seems to have spoken a bit of sense. He seems to have been somebody who could speak between Republicans and Democrats. He seemed to be somebody who's bringing people together. And he's now, you know, obviously um, trying to, you know, gain um, uh, footing as a kind of um, gun control advocate, you know. Uh, I wouldn't buy any of it, but look, it wouldn't surprise me if there aren't moves in America to uh, try and control at least uh, some of these kind of, um, essentially the machine guns. And obviously these are the guns that they're most afraid of. Because I guess, I mean, I have no idea, but I imagine when the cabal fully takes over America, and obviously at the point now where they're destroying America, but they really need to destroy it by essentially becoming a totalitarian kind of, you know, um, new left kind of uh, totalitarianism when that happens um, they obviously don't want people you know being able to fight back so that's really why I think they're going after the machine guns because they could put up a kind of ISIS kind of resistance and um, you know they risk the uh, opportunity or they risk the possibility of a second American civil war so I think that's what's going on you know that's my hermeneutic on all that and um, you know, I just think it's deeply suspicious, and I think we'll probably see another shooting before the uh, midterms um, in October, November. And um, let's hope, though, that the Republicans get in, and at least you know some of this um, rhetoric is changed. Because you know, we know with a Republican-controlled Senate, they're not going to be able to get this rubbish through the Senate, and so it won't happen. So. That's my thoughts on all these mass shootings. As I said, I'm, I'm not somebody who believes that they're all fake, but I do think that intelligence agencies, the FBI, do groom people who are mentally ill or they somehow um, handmade these events to happen and that's what I think is going on at the moment and that's the report from Tiger Mountain this week. Thank you.